Hey, my loves, it's your girl, Miss Melody XX here. So I want to do a video. Um, I want to talk about this because somebody asked me, Miss Melody, who has more of a um, harder struggle? Passable trans women or non-passable um, trans women, as society would say. And for me, I feel like all trans women go through struggles. Um, yes, passable trans women who have a privilege of they can maneuver through society a lot better. They can maneuver through when it comes to jobs and housing. Now, the struggle they go through is a lot of times when, you know, they meet certain guys, you know, they run the risk if they don't tell that guy first. Um, of, you know, losing their life. They run the risk of, um, you know, a guy falling in love with them and can't deal with the fact that they're trans and that can risk their life. So those are some of the struggles that, you know, quote unquote, passable trans women go through. Um, non-passable trans women, based on what society say, go through the struggles of sometimes just being, not, not even giving a job just because, you know, people don't consider them a woman. Not being, um, able to get the house that they want just because somebody don't, you know, perceive them as a woman. Um, you know, and, and then a lot of times, non-passable trans women deal with the fact that a lot, especially in the black community, they don't even see a womanhood. They see you as gay. And so both go through struggles, but I, t but I, I feel like women who are not as passable, um, based on what society says, um, go through a lot harder struggle. And to, Women who feel like they're not as passable, that doesn't that doesn't change who you are. That doesn't change that you're a woman. And we also need to change um, what we consider passable based on society standpoint. We need to we need we need we need to stop because just because you don't want to sleep with a woman or you don't perceive her as attractive does not mean she's not a beautiful trans woman. And I also want to say this: I look at this as colorism dealing with black women. Um. People love to say that brown skin and dark skin women go through a harder struggle than light skin women. And that is true. Brown skin and dark skin women will always go through more of a struggle than light skin women. They will always be less representation for brown skin and dark skin women. But that doesn't mean that light skin women don't experience struggle. They, they experience struggles, um, you know, of, you know, being discriminated because of their race, um, and things of the nature. So, um, we have to understand that all black women, no matter what shade, light skin, brown skin, dark skin, go through struggles. It's just typically we have to understand that brown skin and dark skin women go through more of a struggle. And to all my um, trans women out there, passable and non-passable, understand this. You are a woman. Trans women are women. Love yourself. And let's just try to treat all trans women as women. And let's learn to love all black women um, as the beautiful queens they are, light skin, brown skin, dark skin, all are beautiful, beautiful. And I love my trans women and I love my black women. Um, I love you all. Okay. Love you all. I love you so much. Bye.